see if this will get me through that locked door. If I can find it again. I want to say it was... No, it wasn't over here. Was this the locked door? I think they probably opened it already. Oh no, here we are. It was... Oh, there we go. Yeah, so they opened the door for me. Or maybe I just never went up here. Whatever the case, I found what I was looking for. Let's go take this guy out. Once more, I prove Commander Morrow the fool. I told him, you can't stop the Dark Brotherhood. Never could. Come now, don't be shy. You haven't come this far just to stand there gawking. Indeed, I haven't. You and I have a date with destiny, it would seem. But so it is with assassins and emperors, hmm? Yes, I must die. And you must deliver the blow. It is simply the way it is. But I wonder, would you suffer an old man a few more words before the deed is done? Maybe. You will hear me out then? Good. You will kill me. And I've accepted that fate, but regardless of your path through life, I sense in you a certain ambition. So I ask of you a favor, an old man's dying wish. While there are many who would see me dead, there is one who set the machine in motion. This person, whomever he or she may be, must be punished for their treachery. Once you have been rewarded for my assassination, I want you to kill the very person who ordered it. Would you do me this kindness? I'll consider it. Thank you. Now, on to the business at hand, I suppose. Hmm? Yep. Well, I won't fight you. Good so job. We may as well get this over with. I wonder, were you wearing anything? That could be worth a bit. Alright, now I actually don't want to go up on the deck. I want to leave the way I came. Killing a mon doesn't sound like a half bad idea. I never did it like that guy. circles. I need to do a better job as an assassin keeping track of my surroundings. Okay, let me think. Which way did I come in? Not here. There we go. It's too late, of course. <laughs> Alright, now on tomorrow. I'm especially upset with you.
a little hard to see out here. the guy I'm looking for, Commander Morrow, practically straight ahead. I want to confirm which one Morrow is first. see anything. That's Marl. You have committed crimes against Skyrim and her people. What say you in your defense? I say absolutely nothing. Catch me if you can. I can stay underwater all day. You never catch me. Who needs air when you're not actually alive? Far enough. Never should have killed him. Oh, we're getting kind of laggy now. Huh? Somebody help. Somebody fight me. What's this? Vigilance. You guys came looking for death, huh? How about I kill you with this so? Ah, you resisted it? You guys are really persistent. I know you didn't come along. Not exactly in the mood for fighting right now. So I'll get this over with quick. Nothing to see here, guards. 
Just a little uh, vendetta. I'll be glad when I can finally sit down and rest. Maybe pay the thieves go to clear my name. This assassin work is kind of tiring. Shiny trinkets for your good lady. Welcome. Let me know if you want anything. <laughs> Think I got a clean mug around here somewhere. If it's a mercenary you're looking for, I just want my paycheck and some no peace. Sword on for hire in all Skyrim. Aha, you're back. Yep, and you know what that means. I know, I know. I received the news not moments ago. <laughs> this is glorious. My friend, you may not realize it, but you have served the Empire, indeed all of Tamriel, in ways you cannot possibly imagine. Ah, but you care little for politics, am I right? You want money, and money you shall have. Your payment waits for you at a dead drop. It is inside an urn, in the very chamber where we first met, in Volenwood. Now please, go. Collect your money, and let us never look upon one another again. Our business, thank the gods, is concluded. You know what? I don't like the way you deal with me. So how about this? Our business is not concluded until I say it is. Ah! We had a deal! Why oh, they caught me. I always wonder how can they see through this wall? Come on, somebody's gonna open this door. So I don't have to. Or maybe I will. Hmm, nothing here after all. Exactly. Still gotta exit the city. Oh, you saw me? I wanna kill any more people right now. Don't hurt me. Kinda tired of that. This should be Anybody wanna follow me? Be prepared to die a cold death. Alone. Very far from home. Trusty Steve. Now let's see if I can't get this money without a hitch. It's hidden in an iron. Ooh, that is well worth all the effort. That's a lot of money. That is a lot of money. Did you really just wake up after I passed you like four or five times? A little bit too slow, sorry. I 
for the record, that's a, uh, a really cool ability called uh, sidestep reflexes from uh, better vampires. Once you reach a certain rank of vampirism, you have a chance to slow time just long enough for you to dodge an attack. It's pretty cool. I don't know if you can really see it that clearly though. Alright, let's report the good news to Nazir. See what he's got let's see what he's got this sanctuary looking like. having trouble coming to terms with all of this. I'll just follow Nazir's lead. Where is Nir by the Nir? Where is Nazir by the way? And why aren't you human? Oh, okay. Didn't have the right night vision on. Thought maybe Babette had turned you. Well, what word of the Emperor? What emperor? Truly? Could you have brought us more wondrous news? Recent events notwithstanding, this is a happy day for us, my friend. Despite your misfortunes, you stayed true to the Dark Brotherhood. You've saved us all. And for this, you have my eternal thanks. Now, of course, I must ask. Killing the emperor, how much did Motier pay for such a thing? He paid with 20,000 gold and his life. Ha! Remarkable. Well, the old bastard certainly made it worth your while, didn't he? Now, might I offer some advice? You should go to Riften and find Delvin Mallory. I believe Astrid had you visit him once before. Mallory is an expert obtainer of goods. We can use the money to repair and refit the sanctuary. Make a true home for us, huh? You do that, and I'll see what I can do about recruiting some new additions to our family. Okay, nice. Alright, well, um... That was it pretty exciting. Emperor Titus Mead the Second lies dead, and the Dark Brotherhood yet lives. Oh, I hear you. But our work is just beginning. Approach me, listener, and hear my words. You sure do like yet getting close to child has prayed to their mother. Speak with a scheming servant at the keep in Markarth. Accept his gold, then eliminate the target. So begins a contract bound in black. Sounds easy enough. Everything's easy since that Emperor contract. Alright, well, um... I hope you guys enjoy it. You know I can still sell you some potions and such. Or train you an outcome. That was such a, uh, such a crazy episode. I was actually scared I was gonna die in there. And I got surrounded by all of them. Um, I'll probably throw in a few more episodes to conclude the first chapter so that it's not just end of the mission, you know. Maybe I'll uh, improve this place up or improve this place and uh, show you guys what it looks like with some some more family members. Hello, listener. And then we'll all live happily ever after. Or. Something like that. As happy as we can be as assassins. Alright, so um, I hope you enjoy it. 
and I'll see you next time.